Hey Aquarius, these are general readings. They may or may not resonate. If they don't, please remember, roles can be reversed or flip-flop throughout the reading. It also does not have to be about a love interest or dynamic that you were ever in or want to be in or are in. Okay, I promise. Everything is energy. It could be about your dog, your job, money. It doesn't even have to be about, you know, like I said, a person. It could be a, a house hunting, living situation, car repairs. I don't, I don't know you. If you want a personal, check out the description box. If not, that's fine. Um, I do give out different scenarios, uh, not because I'm fishing, but because I'm trying to teach people to interpret energy for themselves. We all experience very similar energies. It's just manifesting in different ways, okay? Um, if your sun sign doesn't, you know, resonate for you, check out another placement if you want. If not, again, that's fine. All right, Let's see what's going on, Aquarius. I saved you for last because your weekend reading is the only one that I remember. <laughs> I wanted to make sure I was completely focused on it. <laughs> All right. In the recent past, you've got the chariot, the seven of pentacles, the magician, mm -hmm. the currents, the ace of pentacles, the queen of pentacles, the knight of swords. This feels very different. I don't know if it's the same thing for you. The death card, four of pentacles, the tower. And there we go. Let me get your overall. Three of pentacles, the hidden is the king of wands. Six of pentacles is at the bottom of the deck. All right, there's a desire here on someone's behalf to come together, to uh, work together, to make things work. Um, In the recent past, there is an energy here, like I said, of wanting to grow together. I'm sorry, my, my thighs are sticking to my, to my, my seat. Um, there's a desire here of, of growing, of wanting to invest here with whatever, whoever this is to you, okay? Uh, in the currents, you're showing me a new beginning possibly here. And someone's pursuing it. However, in the immediate future, you're showing me a, a drastic uh, cutoff to this, okay? But at the same time, you're showing me a refusal to let it go here with the Four of Pentacles. It's almost like surprise with the Tower card here. I'm curious because I don't know if this is um, surprising to you that you don't want to let this go. I don't know if it's this or something that was done that still upsets you. So let me see what's going on. For the Three of Pentacles, we've got the Page of Swords, Seven of Pentacles again, the Queen of Cups. Let me get the Seven of Pentacles in the past. The Empress, the Three of Swords, the Queen of Wands to your King of Wands. Let me see the King of Wands in the Hidden. Two of Cups, Temperance, Five of Cups. Oh boy. Uh, so, in your overall, you're showing me the, the baby steps of starting to reinvest in this. You do have a lot of love for it, but in the back of your mind, this pain is still there. The possibility of this coming back together is going to reignite this pain all over again now what's interesting here is that in the hidden you're showing me the love and the loss of this love the healing over the said loss of this um is all in the hidden <clears throat> so it it looks like you're not wanting to acknowledge the pain that is still there so let me see the ace of pentacles Four of Swords, the Fool, the Strength card. Yeah, the energy is there for a new beginning. However, there's holding back here. I do feel like it was pretty draining. Um, it almost looks like you're you want to be 
it's like I'm better off in another position or even if it's on your own or whatever the case may be. It's like I'm better off over here. So, mm -hmm. for the Queen of Pentacles, you've got the Lovers, the Seven of Cups, the King of Cups to your Queen of Cups, the King to the Queen of Wands. I don't like the Seven of Cups attached to the Lover's card. Um, bleh. <laughs> eh. For some of you, this could be a, if it's a romantic thing, of course, um, could be a, you know, a third party situation. And if it's not another romantic interest, it could be the interfering of either other energies, um, work, family, friends, whatever that is uh, interfering in this dynamic at some level. Um, it is a very strong connection with both of these energies, whatever it is, if, like I said, because um, it does feel like there's another energy here. I'm just not sure of <sighs> the romantic aspect. Um, it could be two different family members. It doesn't, like I said, it doesn't have to be about love in particular. You could have two very strong, um, like best friends, family members, whatever, um, a partner and the best friend. I don't know, but there's some conflict here. I ain't gonna like it. <laughs> For the Knight of Swords, we've got the Nine of Wands, the Knight of Wands, the Ten of Swords. Ah, be careful. Oh, Lord. There's a very, uh, like I said, with the death card, that um, drastic cutting. Here we are with the drasticness. Uh, you've got two very, very fast paced energies here with the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Wands. You've also got the Nine of Wands, that rejection, and then the Ten of Swords, which, I mean, we all know what the Ten of Swords is. Um, make sure you're cutting things off in a healthy manner if you see fit um, that this energy is cut off from you. Um, I can see why you would cut this energy off. I'm not like pointing the finger or saying they're the bad guy, you're the bad guy. I'm not here to judge. If I was here to judge, then, you know, I'd be making a lot more money than I am. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, I'm not judging anybody, I promise. Um, but it, it does look like in the cutting of this energy, it looks to be um, like you're also denying the part of you that is hurting. So you don't have to deny that part of you while cutting said energy off. You can still address it, um, again, in a healthy way for you because I'm seeing the cutting off of both and that's not the healthy part. Um, or if you're going to, you know, cut this out, make sure you're, again, doing it in a healthy way. And sometimes people just don't like to hear the word no and um, that can also set them off. But no is a complete sentence, okay? You don't need to exacerbate it. You don't need to go into long drawn out paragraphs or all of the explanations of why. Just no is a complete sentence. No, thank you. Goodbye. Bye. Okay, bye. My grandmother used to say it like that. I didn't even realize it because uh, I used to say, I was saying it a lot and my mom brought it up and she was like, your grandmother used to say that. And I was like, oh my God, she did. That's so weird. So yeah. Ah! For the death card, we've got... I have no poker face. I'm so sorry. For the death card, we've got the four of wands, the three of cups, the eight of pentacles. Ah! For the four of pentacles, eight of swords, knight of pentacles, six of pentacles. You had the six of pentacles at the bottom of this deck. And then let's get the tower and then we'll talk. Two of swords. Page of Wands, Four of Cups. Oh. You're showing me that you believe the cutting of this, uh, cutting out of this energy would make you feel better. That you could let go, you could walk away from it, that all of the things. Um. 
but you're not showing me the healing of the part that's hurting. That is what's going to help you feel better. Okay, not necessarily eliminating and only eliminating. Oh, I have a female robin visiting me right now. Um, not just necessarily the cutting out of this energy. It is the healing of this, okay? So whether or not this energy has to stay in your life for whatever reason at some level, whether it be co-parenting or a parent in general, a family member or whatever, okay? I don't know. I don't know you, all right? But it, it looks to be like an energy that is highly triggering for you um, and you feel the need to cut said energy off very um, harshly. Okay, and you might have all the reasons in the world to be harsh. That's not my place to say you do or you don't. I am going to say uh, that you have a lot of love for this, though, because it isn't hidden, whether you want to admit it or not. Um, and you are still hurting over this loss. And my heart goes out to you. And we've... I'm sorry. So, but... Um, I do feel like it does surprise you at how much it truly hurts you still. I feel the need to say still. I don't know why. Do I have three of wands? I mean, temperance is pretty tedious. We have the knight of pentacles. There's not a whole lot of tedious energy here, but I feel it being dragged out for some reason. Um, so I don't know. I don't know how long ago this happened. I don't know if it was a childhood uh, wounds or past life wounds that was re-triggered um, by whatever romantic connection or family dynamic, friendship dynamic this is. I don't know, but it feels like a very old wound here. It feels very confusing as to why you still care about this. And the reason why is because it's not healed, okay? So. It doesn't matter how many times you cut this energy off, because I feel like it's been more than once. Um, the, the pain is still here, okay? Mm. The Emperor just came out for your advice. The Eight of Wands, the Five of Pentacles, the Two of Swords. Uh, you're showing me here the need to communicate with someone here. Um, did you yeah you did have the empress someone's going to have a conversation um, either with you they with you you with them someone wants to have this conversation um, about cutting off it, it does feel like a very strong cutting off. Again, I would just be mindful in how you do it so that you're doing it in a healthy way that's for you. And then I would seek uh, some type of advice, unbiased advice elsewhere. Someone that does not know you um, and that actually has uh, some trained experience, i.e. a therapist, okay? <laughs> so. I'm not being a dick when I say that. If you've been on my channel for a minute, you're going to know I'm a huge advocate for therapists, uh, for counseling. Um, like, if I'm not going to get into it, but I'm always harping about it. Please get therapy, okay? If we all understood how our brains worked and we all had healthy coping skills, um, there'd be a lot less damage in the world, at least I'd like to think. So... Anyways, um, I hope that was helpful. I apologize for not being uh, very, what's the word? Not articulating very well, not being, you know what I mean. Words are so hard for me, I'm sorry, okay? I'm working on it, words, words are rough, okay? I'd like to be able to say it's because I'm bi or trilingual and that's why, no, I'm just <laughs> autistic. <laughs> so anyways, I hope that was helpful. Um, yeah, bye.